Okay, so I've been busy for the last several months working on a bunch of fun projects and recently a lot with Brightheart. I want to walk you through some of the things I've been making. So I'm just going to start you over here with this meditation cushion. What I love about this is it's, it's a nice medium larger size. It's great, comfortable for sitting. It uses my Brightheart fabrics and I have a couple different options that I've created with this. One is if you want to get a little more detailed with it, you can do this wonderful patchwork design. And then I took another one of the Brightheart coordinating prints um, that has more of a linear feel to it, kind of that tribal ethnic kind of feel to balance out the, the combination of the activity with the patchwork and then this really cool graphic print along the side and the rest of the body of the, the poof. Then I've got a different scale project using Brightheart. I've played a lot with the theme of the heart because it's just such a natural fun thing to play with. But these are lavender sachets. This is a very simple project to make and you can hang these in your closet, you can put them on a doorknob, and they're really sweet as gifts, or if you just want to give someone the sachet or create a pin cushion with it, you could also do that. But it has really sweet little hand detailing in here. There's a little blanket stitch with embroidery floss around the edge, which makes it feel really warm. And then I just played up on the graphic um, nature of this particular bright heart print and just gone in with a little embroidery floss and some beading to add a little bit of dimension and make it really, really special. So I'm, I'm really excited to talk about decoupage for a minute. I have a new book coming out next month that is a decoupage kit with papers, but I also have a ton of projects in the book that utilize fabrics. And when I was talking a little bit earlier about the scalability of projects from so complicated so to no so, this is an awesome no so thing to do. So what you do is you, you take a found vase, you could use glass or ceramic, and you prepare the surface with sandpaper. You use the general average decoupage medium and a foam brush, and you just play, start to play with the positioning of different coordinating fabrics. You can tell whatever kind of print story you want. I actually chose a variety of fabrics. I have so many scraps from all my collections, and I think you do too. This is a great way to use them where you just combine the colorways uh, again in a whole new story. There's some alchemy in here. There is some happy. I've got a little bit of, what is that? I have a little bit of cameo in here. But there's a nice little thread of color that goes through all of my free spirit fabrics that allows you to like make new collage stories. So then if you take your fabric scraps, you've colorized them, decided what you love looks good together, um, and then take the medium and position them, um, put, apply them with the decoupage medium, and then put a finished coat on it and let it cure, and you have a project, a beautiful project that takes about two hours to make, which is really cool. And then I am excited about um, a sewing book I have coming out too called Peacekeeping. And it's all about um, patchwork and hand piecing, machine piecing, but it's the idea that you can take patchwork and apply it across the board to a lot of different types of projects. So I have different categories of projects that involve fashion, accessories, nesting, home decor projects. And this piece is inspired by the triangle patch. The bodice is all very simple triangle piecing, but small scale, so it feels kind of precious. And I top stitched all the triangles with gold thread, which picks up on the gold embroidery from this antique sari ribbon that I used to set the bodice. And then the bottom piece uh, made, is made with fabrics that I brought back from Indonesia a few years ago. So it's, it's, really, it's really inspiring for me to you know, have these new projects. I have the Bright Heart New Fabric Collection, I have the decoupage book, and, and then the sewing book. And it's been a wildly creative time for me. It's a great outlet, keeps me out of trouble. And I love sharing these ideas with you. And, and the, next, the next piece of it that's really rewarding for me is that I get to see what, what your inspirations, um, how they develop from these projects and the things that I've created.